Casey Ashley here. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about fluke fishing. It's something we get to do a lot back home, you know, growing up on the blueback herring lakes. And, you know, over the years, I figured out just little tweaks and turns that you can do that, that really make a difference. You know, nine times out of 10, I'm using a fluke as for schooling fish, the blueback herring deal. Uh, and it works on shad too. Just any time the, the fish are schooling, um, I'm gonna start with a, you know, white pearl zoom super fluke. And the other favorite color, when the water gets really, really clear, and it's, you know, you get just a little bit of chop on the water to a slick day. You know, I like this disco violet color. It's kind of transparent, got a little purple glitter in it. Um, but most of the time I'm working a fluke super, super fast. I mean, it's rolling end over end on top of the water for four or five feet and then I'll kill it and stop it. But how I like to rig it for that, I actually hook it, I call it backwards. Some folks may call it the, the right way, but I actually bring the hook into the back of the fluke. So the belly kind of acts as your weed guard. That way you don't have any plastic to go through. You know, it's got the split in the belly. So when he gets it, the hook's right there. And that's when I'm fishing, you know, open water, calling fish up, fishing for schooling fish. If I'm gonna fish the, the fluke down, you know, you can use it in so many ways. I mean, you catch fish in Florida. This is a good Florida bait for pre-spawn. Um, then I'm gonna hook it weedless. But hardly ever do I throw it on anything but either a four or a five alt round bend Gamagatsu hook, no weight, straight fluorocarbon, 15 pound test most of the time. But if I'm fishing it weedless, you know, that's when I run it through the belly and hook it weedless style. You're gonna go through a lot more baits like this. You're probably gonna catch one to two on each bait, but it works. Um, another thing I like to do with a fluke, you get those real cloudy, slick days and the fish are schooling. If you've ever been on the water, especially in the dead summertime, you look out and you'll see one shad being across the top and a fish will get it. It's not that they're, you know, busting shad, but when you see that one that's singled out, this is something I've learned over the years. When they start doing that, you can take your bait, you gotta hold your, it kinda seems silly, but you hold your rod way up high and you can just wind that fluke. Don't twitch it or anything. Just kinda wake it, almost like waking a wake bait. You put that bee in the water and you hammer down on it. That's my top three ways to fish a fluke. You'll see one tied on a rod in my boat nine times out of ten every tournament I fish. Just because you never know what situation you're going to be faced with. But if they're schooling, you better have one tied on.